Hi, my name is Jonathan Hicks. I'm back at the Dice Cup, and this evening I'm joined by Steve. And we're about to play a game of Keyforge. Uh, now, we've done a review of this, so do watch the review if you want to get an overview of the rules. We're not going to explain how to play in this, but we are going to kind of talk through while we're playing to sh sort of explain what we're doing and what's happening in terms of card abilities and things like that. Now, uh, you can see there's the three keys here that we're each trying to forge on either side. Our decks are all set up. Um, how confident are you feeling about this, Steve? I've not played against Jonathan. Yeah, I've played more games than Jonathan, but I have no idea what's in his deck. He's got some similar houses to me, but they will be different, uh, as all decks are. Um, and every every game against different decks is different and, and stuff like that. So we'll give it a go. We'll see if there's a, we'll see if kind of luck or skill prevails uh, at the end of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Steve is an experienced Magic player, and I am not really. So I'm expecting him to win, but I'm going to give him my best shot. <laughs> And we'll see what happens. Uh, so, um, without any more to do, let's uh, get on with the game. Good luck. All right, so uh, Steve's got first player. So he draws seven cards, whereas I only draw six. Um, but because he's first player, he only plays one card. Normally he plays many cards to like from one house. He can only play one card. So I'm going to say Mars. I'll play... Uh, Yixix Dominator, who enters Stun. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. And my guy also has Taunt. I've got him in my neck as well. He's not nice, he's very tough. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you very much. I'm also going to play Mars. So this guy comes in tapped. This guy comes in tapped. And he's elusive, which means the first time he gets attacked, he doesn't take any damage. That's nice. And this guy means that Steve's keys will cost one more than normal. Uh, but they're tapped, I can't go anywhere with them. End of my turn, they refresh. And it's Steve's go. You draw up to six at the end of your turn. So I take the door two cards. Uh, so I'm going to name this, and I'm just going to play lots of creatures. Don't do them well enough. So uh, play this guy and this guy, and they kind of do you in a bit. So you can't play more than two cards a turn. And during your draw step, you draw one fewer card. I hate this guy. And then I'm going to play this guy and this guy. Um, so they don't do much now, um, but this guy's charge is using artifacts. I pass, and then I drop to six. Okay. Wow, we need to do something about all those creatures. So I'm going to play Phosphorus Stars. I'm going from Mars again. I'm going to stun each non-Mars creature. So that's pretty handy because it stuns all of Steve's creatures now stunned. Mm -hmm. uh, but I gain two chains now. Chains are not so fun. So I have this little uh, chain card, and we have a little token for it. And it means uh, for the next two rounds, because I've got two chains, I'm going to be drawing one fewer card. So I'll put this on here to keep track of it. So I can have two. And that's it for my turn. So I should be drawing one card. Can I activate these? Oh, I forgot about those. Yes. So you're going to read oh. twice. Yeah, so um, I definitely want to reap with this, but you don't have any, um, so I will gain one um, ember, I think you call it, and I would capture one except Steve doesn't have any, um, and this one I'm going to reap, which means I get an ember, and his special ability is when he reaps, I ready a non-agent Mars creature. Well, this is a robot, not an agent, so he's going to ready. Which is great, because that means I can reap with him again and gain a third ember. This is how you get ember. Um, but now it's the end of my turn, yeah. So I should draw up to six, but because of my chain, I'm going to draw one fewer, but then this kind of ticks down. So this you draw one fewer as well. Oh, really? So I'm definitely not drawing any card at all. Right. I see you and tap as well. Oh, yes, I refresh at the end of my turn. I want to name 
I'm just gonna get in a. Uh, uh, you saved up, but you could have got the castle. I'm gonna name Mars, I think, and I'm gonna play this guy, well, and I'm gonna unstun this guy. Yeah, so when you activate somebody who's stunned, effectively the stun goes away, but then they can't do anything for the rest of the turn. And I pass. And so you're good. Right. Well, I think they might try for an early key grab here. So I'm going to go with Sanctum. I'm going to play Glorious View. For every creature my opponent controls in excess of mine, I gain an ember. So because I've got two and Steve's got six, that means I'm going to gain four ember. <coughs> go back, which means I now have seven. Now, technically we're supposed to say check, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Chess to indicate that I will be able to make a key on my next turn. So that goes in my discard pile because that was an action. And I've got to play Sanctum card, so we'll get a creature out. My Storge Knight, he has a power of four, but when he's on the flank, i.e. on the edge, his power is increased by two, so he actually has a power of six. He also has a defense of two, so that's going to absorb the first two damage he takes each turn. And that's it. So then my final... So you can't do these because they're Mars and I'm only doing Sanctum one. So my final chain thing kind of ticks off and goes away. My chains are gone. Which means I should be drawing up to five, but that makes it minus one, so it's four. So yeah. I'm actually only drawing one card. Okay, so uh, I'm going to say Shadow, mainly because you manage your hand. You can sometimes finish with all of one house in your hand. Wow, <laughs> this is so, a bad turn for me. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is... Um, so I'm going to play my artifact attack, which I can't do anything this turn. I'm going to steal one. If I, so I'm going to steal one. If I do, I'll deal two damage to an enemy creature. I'm going to do two damage to this creature. So grab a jammer. So that will take one because he's got armor. Oh yeah, so that absorbs one. So it just takes one. I'm going to deal, play this, it gains an ember because it's got an ember on the cards, deal two damage to a creature, and if it destroys it, steal one. So I'm going to destroy this. No, oh, hang on. Oh, it's damage to Ah, yeah, so if he was attacked, he wouldn't take damage, but because it's just dealing damage via an action, this guy dies. And that means you're stealing another one? Yeah, so another one, so... Yeah, shadows are good at stealing, I'm afraid. Um... I'm going to play this same again, deal two damage to this, uh, but I don't steal one, but I gain one from the card. Now, because he's already used his defense this turn, I don't get to use it again, so I'm taking two more damage in this guy. He's only got one health left. Okay, uh, but I'm going to let him live, so I'm going to play this, gain one ember, and I'm going to return these two to your hand. Two, and turn two enemy creatures to their opponent's hand. Ah, so this guy loses all of his damage, that's not too bad. Getting back. He goes back to my hand, and then this one just goes, goes back to my hand. And finally, I'm going to play my treasure map, so... I gain an ember for playing it, and if I, it's the only card I play in a turn, I gain three ember. And for the remainder of the turn, I can't play any more cards. So I can't play any more cards this turn, but I've done it such a way that I've finished them. So I'm going to say check, because I now have uh, six. And I'm going to untap. And I'm going to draw six. Hmm. Well, that's made my turn a bit tricky. Okay, I'm going to play the key abduction. Return each Mars creature to its owner's hand. Well, I don't have any anymore, but Steve does, so they go away. And this gets me another ember, which brings me back up to six. Check. Then I'm going to get a couple of big creatures out. So the Ixilx Dominator, who arrives not only tapped but stunned as well. And that's it, because you can't play more than two cards. Oh, I forgot about that. That's terrible. All right. Uh, my chain is gone, so I can draw up to six, except that this guy is still out, the sucker bus, which means I'm only drawing to five. So I will draw one card. Just because I can Two seconds. So you haven't played any shadows yet. So the first thing I do on my turn, I have six amber, so I have to forge a key. So I take my knees and I flip this over. Some people have some really nice, uh, I don't know if you saw Owls. Like, oh, he's got like 3D yeah, ones, doesn't he? Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say Mars. And I'm going to... Oh, 
this guy's very powerful because he hits for nine. Yeah, so because of that, he's stunned, so he's have to get uh, So I'm gonna play first. Mars. So I'm gonna play Soft Landing. Whenever the next creature card I play this turn enters ready. So I'm gonna play Mind Warper who enters ready. Yeah. Normally he wouldn't do. And as an action, I'm gonna choose this guy to capture one from yourself. So normally opponents capture Ember, and if I kill the creature I get it back. But he's making my own guy capture my ember. I don't know why I'm doing that. But it means if he ever kills this guy, actually Steve will take the ember off me. So I'm going to play Xyrix the Many. I like that guy. He can get very big. And I'm going to play... Um, uh, I'm going to play my Taunt guy, who enters Stunned. That's the same guy, right? Like, yeah. Uh, I'm going to discard this card. So you can discard cards from the house you're using because I don't think it's very good. It gains me chains and it doesn't do much. And I'm gonna play Deep Probe, so it gains me an ember, and I'm gonna choose a house. I'm gonna choose Shadow, so you reveal your hand Cemetery. and discard so all Shadow down. creature cards. Yeah. I have one Shadow creature card that goes to my discard. Yeah. Pile. And the advantage of making people discard is because, unlike Magic, where you draw at the start of your turn, here you draw at the end. So if I make him discard, he has fewer cards in his hand. Sometimes you get lucky, and if you name a house where he's got two or three creatures in, you can really wreck their turn. Yeah. So I'm going to go um, to uh, ready myself, so I'm going to ready all my guys, uh, although five of them are stunned, thanks to Jonathan's ability, and then I'm going to draw up to my hand limit, and say so you're going. Right, well, you saw my hand, I've got uh, three Sanctum, so I think we need to go with those. So I'm going to get my Staunch Knight out, who arrives tapped. And I'm going to inspire him. <laughs> when I play this action, I can ready and use a friendly creature. So, this guy readies, and I can use him. Now, although I could reap with him to get some more ember, I think I really need to just take out some of these annoying creatures that are making my life difficult. So, he's going to attack, and I think we're going to attack the... This is the one that only lets me play two cards, Yeah, this is it? the one that draws you for your cards, so it's got to be one of these two, I think. <laughs> yes, so I think we'll start by taking out this guy. I'd like to be able to okay. play more than two cards. Um, so you deal four to me, so I die. Yep. I deal two to you, your arm Ooh. soaks that up. So I don't take any damage at all. Well, he now becomes tapped. Um, you can now play three cards or more cards if you want. Oh, that's true, I could. Um, I do have another Sanctum card here, but I don't think it's going to benefit me to play it at this time, so I'm going to save that one. Well, actually, maybe I should discard it. As Steve says, this card is good if I have a lot of creatures out, but it's actually difficult because of my particular deck for me to get a lot of creatures out. So I'm just going to discard that card instead. Incidentally, Steve, can you discard cards from other houses? No, so you're to, when, you're, when you name your house, yeah. that means you can play cards from that house, you can activate cards from that house, and you can discard cards from that house, and that is it. Okay, so this is going to be discarded. And I've only got one card left, so end of my turn, this guy readies, and I'm going to draw up to still five. It's one less than I should be drawing up to, so I draw up to five. Nice, <laughs> and you didn't get you didn't get an ember, so I don't have to worry about you having six ember. Uh, only five. Um, so I'm going to say Mars again. So the first thing I'm going to do is unstun Mr. Big Guy here. The next thing I want to do is uh, activate this guy to make this one steal one ember. What? Actually, no, I'm going to do the same one again, because this is Todd, so I'm going to have to kill this before I kill anything else. He can do this each time he... It's an action, so, oh, it's, so like, it's, a, it's using a, the card as an yeah. action. Okay. So that's quite powerful. Sucking away all my ember. Um, so I'm also going to... I think I just need to start leaping, so I'm going to... Um, I'm going to reap with him. And what he does when I when I reap, I can I've got an ability. I can reveal a creature, so I'm actually gonna reveal another Martian creature. Um, and I can archive this to make this guy three bigger, so he's now a six power creature. Wowzers! Did we not see him yet? He's pretty good. I have not. So you can every time he reaps or fights. He potentially becomes three bigger. If by I archive, archive it, but I've got to archive a creature, so I've archived a creature. Yeah, okay. And then I'm oh going to play, <laughs> I'm gonna play another big Martian guy. Yep. Um, and then I'm going to um, play Biometric Backup. 
on this one. So first of all, I gain a number. <laughs> Secondly, if you destroy this guy who's making your life misery, he will go to my archive. Yeah. The issue with the archive is at the start of your turn, if you want to, you can take all the cards in your archive back into your hand and kind of have a monster turn. So although getting into the archive takes it out of play temporarily, it's probably going to come back. Yeah, well it gives me a bigger hand size on the turn I want to use it. Interestingly, see I've got Mars in my deck as well as Steve, but Steve has got a lot of big fighty Mars creatures, and I don't really. I've got the this guy who's tough. Most of the rest of my Mars cards are more about control than anything else. <coughs> I've got this card which will stun all of the non-Mars creatures, but unfortunately... two chains, isn't it? Yeah, and Steve's got a lot of Mars creatures because he's running Mars as well. This is tricky. He doesn't have enough to forge a key though, so I don't need to worry about that. I think what I'm going to do... ...is go with... And I have five things. And all of a sudden I have so to him again, extra. because and at least I've got a couple of strong guys. So here I tap, can't do anything with him. But he is a big tough guy, so I can use him to kill somebody again. And we're going to take out... Well, this is tricky, because I'm a bit worried if I don't take out this guy soon, he's just going to become really, really strong. As it stands, they're going to trade. Yes, and I think that might be worth it. So, because he's on the flank, his special ability gives him plus two power. So he's got six attack. And he's got three plus three or six attacks. So they will kill each other. So I'm going to do that. So they both go away. And I've got no more Sanctum cards. So that's the end of my turn. He resets and I draw up still to five. Look at this annoying sucker boss. So I'm going to say Mars again. And then I draw my archive. And I'm just going to play... So he, this has taunt, so I can't attack this one. Yeah. What I'd like to do is attack this one. This will have damage on it, and then when I play another mass creature, it heals itself. Yeah. So this guy's really good, especially my guy's got taunt. So I could destroy this and get two ember. Maybe I'll do that. So the, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm actually going to lose some of my creatures. So this is going to make this guy capture another one. Can you see what's coming? Yeah. <laughs> um, so this guy is going to deal, uh, he's going to fight this. So they're going to do eight damage each, each. aren't they? Yeah. Because of the one Correct. shield on them. So uh, your guy's going to die there. Yeah. Right. And then my tank, although he's really good, my tunk, sorry, uh, this, uh, this is going to fight this. Well that's interesting because although he's taking damage, he's still going to hit for nine. Mm -hmm. So he will die. But then Steve kills this yeah. and takes all of my precious ember away. So I can say, check. He dies. The stun goes away. And then I'll play two more mass creatures. And I'm going to say, pass the turn. Okay, well, that makes my decision of what I'm going to do fairly straightforward. I'm going to oh, it, yeah, 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 that's it. That's it. Uh, that's all I can do. Okay, so I'm going to go with Sanctum again. Because I have Blinding Lights, which is a great card for a couple of different reasons. First of all, I get an Ember for free by playing it. It's nice. But it also stuns all the creatures of one house. Now, it would stun my creatures as well, potentially, if I had any of that house. But since all my Mars creatures have gone away... I guess you're going to pick Mars. I'm going to go with Mars. So all Steve's Mars creatures become stunned. So now, all of Steve's creatures, in fact, are stunned. Although he has a lot. Yeah. I can't do much right now, which is handy. So we don't, uh, and then the only don't other Sanctum card I have is this one in play already, so I will activate him to take out the super annoying Sucker Bus. Uh, which means uh, I do take one damage, don't I? Yeah. She's hitting for three. That's one damage on my Thorns Knight. He refreshes, and now I can draw up to six. Oh, yeah, exactly. uh, when Jonathan says you're playing creatures, yeah. you can only have play on the flank, which means Jonathan's killed this one in the middle, the line kind of closes up. So effectively, my yeah. new ones are going here right here. Okay. I like um, I, I like it. I like it, but I love trying out on new things. I use maybe like three or four of the cards anymore. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, sorry, at the start of my turn, I should have forged the key. So oh, yes. there's my second key. But uh, um, This is not going well. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to say this. So the first thing I'm going to do 
and the heel these two, uh, unstun these two. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to play yeah, some more uh, guys. <coughs> so I'll play this guy over this side, like this, one, and this, I, I this play, side. Uh, and they have some abilities that when I reap or fight, they do some stuff. Yeah, I played um, yeah, and then that's all I'm going to do, and then I draw two more because I need to have So, the other thing you've got to think about as well, if you can keep playing the, ha the house that you've got the most of in your hand, you're, you're, you're constantly switching between houses, and you can see what I've done, I, I played like Mars three turns in a row, and that allowed me to play the creatures, play a few more, and then use them a few times, it's quite powerful. Yes, yeah, I have not got the hang of this. Mm. Well, my deck is yeah, quite different, he, Steve. Uh, so I'm going to go with Mars. I'm going to stun every non-Mars creature. So that stuns all them again. How many of them have you got? And it also is going to stun mine, unfortunately. But I'm willing to take that. Uh, we've run out of stun cards. We've got so much stun going on. Thanks. Uh, I do get two chains again, though. So this comes back, and I'm on two chains. But I think it's probably worth it. Uh, and Mars cards. Okay, so. Jeff, is this your ask? I'm going to play this card. In fact, I realise I've done this in the wrong order, but that's my fault, really. So I reveal any number of Mars cards from my hand. I've only got one left in my hand now. And I'll deal that much damage to one of your creatures. So we'll deal one damage to... Oh, this is the armour, so you don't want to do that. Oh, because it absorbs damage. Yeah, okay. Um, well, this little guy's... You want to do it to one of my uh, fives, because then this guy can take them out. Oh yeah, you're right. So if you do it to this one of these two, maybe. It depends if you've got some of the things. A lot of the time, I have the special abilities that are really annoying. So my annoying ones are... Uh, tell me, that will help. Uh, this one that has been very annoying. Oh, that's right, I forgot about him. Uh, so one damage to him. And then I've got one more card, which is a creature. So that comes in tapped. And now Steve's keys cost one more. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. But I will end my turn there. Matthew sets. And I draw it to five again because of my chain. And that drops by one. Okay, so Jonathan, uh, stop me. Because if, if he hadn't have stunned my disc creature, I would have said this and done lots of really good stuff. Um, I'm going to say this again, mainly to get to play this artifact. Now this artifact, when I tap it, on your next turn, peace costs three more. Ouch. So I'm going to play this, and then all I'm going to do is unstone my other ones. There are ways to get rid of artifacts, but in general they are very hard to get rid of. I don't think I've got a card in my deck that will get rid of them. I have one, I think, in mine. Like, you, you, you don't want your opponents to play artifacts because they're just like continual benefits. Uh, so I draw one more because I only played one card that time. And I'm running out of discards in my hand, so. Let me show you again. Sorry, if you only play one card. Yeah. I'm still drawing six. Just, yeah, that doesn't change. Yeah. Okay. So you, I mean, the idea is you want to play more cards, so you, you get more cards in hand, but I, I thought it was more important to unstun my guy. You don't have any amber at the moment, do you? Yeah, so if you've got anything that steals, I'm happy with that. Shadow steals a lot. Yeah. Right, this is tricky, because the cards in hand, I don't have a lot of one house. Okay, I think we're going to play Poison Wave. So we're going with Shadow, that's going to deal 2 damage to every creature on the board and gets me an Ember. Okay, so you're going to kill this, kill this, kill this. Now when this dies, it's my archive. I thought, yeah, you're going to kill nothing else, and everything else is going to take two damage, including yours as well. That's right, he has two armor though, so he won't take any damage. He has one armor, so he will take one damage. So I feel like that's an acceptable loss for taking out half of Steve's board. It's sad that you've, you've taken out the wrong house, you kind of want to take out my disc, because my disc are the ones that are stunned. Yes. Anyway, so that was a shadow card, so anything else I've got to play is going to be shadow. My other shadow card is not really going to help right now, but I think it will help in the future, so I'm going to save that one. I'm still drawing up to five because of my chain, so I draw one more card, and my chain goes away. Alright. Okay, so... Oh, these are the things that died. So what's in here? Okay, I don't, I'm not going to play that house yet, so I'm not going to bring that one, just get a file. I still haven't played 
you don't play enough creatures. This only does this kills creatures. They need more than that. Right. So I think I'm just going to. Uh, Oh, kill your boards again. So I'm actually going to reap. You have to discard a card from your hand. Random, random, yeah. All discarding it seems to be is random in this game, which is really good. Okay. Um, and again, that's reduced jump from hand size to four. Lost. Soft landing. That would have let me get a card in ready. Yeah. So I, be nice. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attack each of your creatures. So there, but I think everything's going to trade. This will do 5 minus 2 is 3, so this will kill me. Yeah. I know it works, it's on the flank. Oh, that's right, it's actually got 6 now. Okay, so I'm not going to kill that. I'm going to, um, I'm going to kill this one. With that one, yeah. So he's going to do 4 damage to that, and then die. And then these two, I think I'm going to reap with both of them. So reap, reap. And then when this guy reaps, he purges the creature from your discard pile. You purge, if you play Magic the Gathering, it's, it's, pur it's like trashing a card in Dominion or exiling a card in Magic. Jonathan will never be a to that card again for the rest of our match. Here. Um, and then when I purge, I get one bigger. And then I'm, just because I can, I'm going to activate this, the Lash of Dreams. You can cost you three more to forge a key next time. Okay, and then I'm going to untap and say the old game. Ah, so this is not a permanent thing making you cost. No, you I have, have to act. So, well, so basically, if you're if you're close to winning and you've got loads of Ember, I have to say this and use this. Yeah, yeah. Which gives me a bit of time to kind of find a way to steal some. Okay. I haven't got more cards. Steve's deck is very good I, at reducing I, my cards. I actually will also discard this card. This would have destroyed one of your creatures if it wasn't on a flank. Okay, you've never had three creatures out. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, one guy survived. All right. I need to get some Ember. Oh, I have a card. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so actually, we're just going to go with Sanctum, it's called, isn't it? So I'm going to uh, bring this one into play, and its ability is that it stuns a creature when it comes into play. So, yeah, it's, um, which I, it's quite, you could do this because this makes you scratch that. And this just gets a bit bigger. I want to stun the guy that's getting bigger because I don't want him to get any bigger. That would definitely be an issue. You've got a lot of stunning in your deck. Yeah. And I can't do anything else with him because he arrives attacked. But this guy could attack something to kill the other guy. I think that would be a good idea. He'll take one damage because he's hitting for three minus two. But that's okay. I'll take that. So, oh, hang on. No, he's stunned. Oh, I can't do that to man. But what it does do if I activate him is it gets rid of the stun. So at least he's no longer stunned. So they reset, and I'm drawing up to. Am I drawing up to six? You're full hand size now, yeah. Woo! Uh, I was hoping you'd gain an ember because I've got quite an annoying card to you. Yeah, to yeah. I was hoping to gain an ember too. <laughs> Is there any way for me to lose an ember? There isn't. So I'm going to play this one. Bait and switch. If you have more ember than me, I steal one. Okay. And I repeat that. What? But the second time we have the same. Oh, so you only get to steal one. But if you had gained an ember, I'd have stolen two of them. But it's just two, is it? Doesn't it keep going? No. I repeat it once. Okay. And then I'm going to play some of my. I've played many shadow creatures. I don't want to play this. I probably don't want to play this. So I'm going to play. Uh, Nexus. Umbra. Moon Cursor, and these have two of them have skirmish, and the other one has elusive, and this one's got poison. So these in combat are very difficult to kind of deal with. Skirmish means when I attack, I don't take any damage. Elusive means when you attack me, I don't take any damage the first time. And poison means if I deal damage to you, I kill you. Ouch! I've not seen that before. Poison. Yeah. It's got skirmish and poison, which means I can attack, not take damage myself, and kill you. But I can't get through armor. So if, I, ah. if I deal damage to you, you die. Ah, okay. Um, and I'm actually, I have Poison Wave. Now, I'm not going to play this, but this will deal two damage to each creature. And I'm not going to play it, because it, I think that just is, you've got armor, and that's just worse than me. Uh, I think, and I'm not going to use my artifact because it's pointless, so I'm going to untap, and I'm going to draw back up. Now, I'm almost through my deck. And when you go through your deck, you just reshuffle it from back in. And so you'll go. 
Okay. Got a slightly tricky turn here. Yeah, Alright, I'm going to play Shadow. Not really to do a great deal, but I can play Ghostly Hand, which will get me two Ember. So that means I have six. Check. Maybe I'll be able to have all the key for this game ends. It would also steal a number if Steve had one, but that's going to happen, so I'm just going to play that. I will also play my Harlow Phantom, he's a thief. And that's elusive and skirmish, yes. that's very hard to kill. And then whenever I play an artifact, he will steal an ember, which will be great. Um, and I think that's going to be it. Did you say check? So yes, check, and I'm going to draw up to six. Now, for a couple of reasons, Jonathan is now on six, so I'm actually just going to say this, and the first thing I'm going to do, he's plus nine for your next turn. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so I'm going to play Flame Wreath on this. So first of all, I'm going to be an Ember. And what this does... Uh, so I've played Flame Wreath on this, Jonathan, who just stood up for a sec. Gains me an ember. More importantly, it gives this guy plus two power, and if you attack it, you take a bit of damage. Now, that means your guys with armor, if you fight this, you'll take damage off it and then kill them. Because it has poison. Oh, I see. So now this is big enough to get through your armor, but I can't attack it at this time because I'm at this house. Okay. Uh, so I will unstun this guy. I'm going to play another flame wreath. Uh, and I don't know, I think Lady Maxima is a very good card, so I'm actually going to... Do I want to try and kill them? I probably don't. I probably don't. So I'm going to play this on... Uh, on this guy. Gains me another Ember, so I'm going to say check. I'm then going to play two more creatures. You Same guy again, you can't draw, play more than two cards a turn. Uh, and then I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to reap. So reap, reap. So I gain two ember, I'm on eight, and when I reap, I, you discard a random card from your hand. Ah. I feel like it's all over now. Oh, Steve's on how many have you got? I'm on eight, and on two forge keys. So if he gets one more, he wins. And if he has six at the start of his turn, oh, you can pick one. Okay, and then I'm going to say, uh, pass the turn. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready myself. I will draw up to, so I'm going to draw my last card and then I'm going to shuffle my library and I this card's back in. Oh, I forgot, I've still got one in our card. Alright, well this is a little bit weak, but I think it's all I can really do. I'm going to play this Miasma. Oh, hang on, I've got six. Oh, but you're saying it's costing three more. Yeah, again. yours costs nine to do this Ooh, time. So, oh, I've got seven. Still check. And... You cannot forge a key on your next turn. Okay, that's, that's, that's good, that saves you a turn. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to get. I don't have any more shadow cards though. Except I've got this guy out so I can play him or do something with him. So I think I will. Have you got any little guys who are nearly dead? Oh, that guy's nearly dead. So I will tap him to do one damage. And because he's a skirmish, he won't take any damage. So end of my turn, he refreshes, and I'm to six. Okay, so I can't forge a key this turn, to Jonathan's ability. Yeah. I still feel pretty confident though. <laughs> yes. Um, so I'm actually going to say, I think I'm going to say um, Shadow. Um, and what I can do with Shadow is uh, I can start killing some of his guys, just to be on the safe side. This is gonna fight uh, this. Okay. Uh, so this deals two, three, four. So this absorbs two of it, so you take two. Two more damage, okay. Yeah, and because I have skirmish, because uh, I have skirmish, I don't take none, I don't take any. This is fight, steal one, so I'm gonna steal one. Yes. I'm going to play this to steal one. That's just an action, is it? Uh, and if I do deal two damage, I'll deal two damage to this. It doesn't that, die. Oh, no, no, but you've... Um... Yes, but it's a six power creature. Oh, that's right. This is on the flank. So he's on five damage. I have two of these. So I'll do oh. it again. Uh. And now I'll kill it. 
Yes. Then I'm going to fight with this. This is going to fight this. So this deals three damage. Okay. With poison. Poison kills him. Ah, so in theory I would take one damage, but because it is dealt damage, yeah. it just dies. And this is going to reap. That is the world of ember you've got there. And I'm going to say deal two damage to this, and if it dies, I steal one. Oh. Oh, he's elusive though, yeah? An elusive, although it stops, um, he's attacked each turn, no damage to stealth. So elusive and skirmish are attack only. Oh, no, no, and that's direct guard. damage. No, so and when dies. I play this, I also gain an ember. So I'm going to say check, because I have... <laughs> Six, Too much uh, ember. I have 14 ember. ember. My goodness. And I have no creatures, and so you've had the world of creatures. And I, all my ember is gone. That I was going to be bored to be with. Okay, so I'm going to pass the turn. You've stolen it. Right, I don't think there's anything I can do this turn. So, I want to have. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Now I'm going to go with Sanctum. I, I'm saved. Can you survive another turn? I can. Each player with six or more ember is reduced to five. Okay, that is a very powerful card. And I get an ember. That's nice. I'm hanging on by the skin of my teeth. Uh, and it's uh, Sanctum, so I'm going to play this knight as well, who arrives tapped. No other Sanctum card, so he refreshes. End of my turn, I've got six. Okay. Can I prepare to get battered by Steve's army again? Uh, so it's me to go. I, I think I'm just going to say. Um, I'm going to say this, and all I'm going to do with each creature is I'm just going to reap. <laughs> to get all the ember. Uh, apologies, this one I'm going to steal one. Oh. I'm going to reap, reap, reap. Yeah. Get some three more. When I reap, I'm going to purge a creature to get my guy bigger. Yeah. So. I read it after what you And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to say this just in case that it costs you three more to forge a key. And I'm going to discuss the three. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to say check again. Okay. Well, I have no more get out of jail free cards at this point. So I think it's all over. No. Um, I can, I've got an artifact I can play. I can add an upgrade to this. But I don't think it's going to matter because I can't stop Steve forging a key. So on the start of your next turn. Get your third key. Yeah. And I had zero keys at the end of that. Well played, that was a thorough thrashing. <laughs> Cheers. Steve is a bit of an expert magic player, so uh, clearly shows. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. All right, so there you have it. A convincing victory from Steve. Uh, let's go for some final thoughts. So Steve, what do you think? Yeah, I like my deck. My deck seems to work with a critical mass of a particular house, so that if you get a critical mass of this, it really disrupts Jonathan's hand. If you get a critical mass of like Mars creatures, you didn't see it in this game, but that's how I've won quite a lot of my games before. A lot of my Mars creatures can like heal each other and untap each other, and I can kind of go Mars, wipe the board, go Mars again, wipe the board, two turns in a row. Um, and Shadow, it's just a bit annoying really, so I kind of like my house, I kind of like the style of deck I've got. Jonathan has a lot of ways it seems to kind of stop me winning like drastic like stunning everything stealing a lot of my ember it just didn't seem to kind of use that to it I'm not saying he missed anything it just didn't seem to like normally you kind of stun everything and then do something really good to kind of catch up and he couldn't quite get those cards that caught him up in the same hand um, yeah I like the game it's like my eighth game of playing it so yeah I'm, I'm starting to like this game it's good okay yeah I enjoyed it um, as Steve was saying I've got a couple of cards that will let me get ember I think I used one of them depending on how many more creatures Steve has than I do. And in a couple of games, I've been quite far behind. My opponents had loads more creatures than me, but suddenly I've been able to use these cards to get tons of Ember and actually squeak out a win. So I was hoping, but didn't quite draw that one card I really needed towards the end of the game. Um, and yeah, I like my deck. It is quite sort of big and bashy. It looks like I'm not doing very well, but suddenly I stun everything, or I get lots of Ember, and it's just fun. I enjoy it. And it's interesting how different they are. I think we were saying while we were playing, but Steve's Mars deck is very different from my Mars deck. It, you know, he's got a lot of big, heavier creatures compared with me. Um, and mine is more about, like, as I was saying, stunning everything. The interesting thing is that uh, of our houses, we have two houses the same. We both are playing Mars and Shadow, but the decks are completely different. And this is the random, like every deck is unique, and that's the massive strength in this game. Um, you can get a set of three houses the same as someone's set of three houses and have completely different decks based on the kind of style of cards you've got. Yeah. 
But yes, I think there is definitely a big element of skill in this game. As you've seen, if you've been watching, you've probably spotted some errors on my part. Steve definitely uh, outplayed me, I think. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. That was... Keyforge!